potworms. They're not baby worms. They're a separate unpigmented species. They're as good a soil engineer as the earthworm, but if you have them in your worm bin, it might just be in trouble. Potworms evolved originally in temperate climates. There are some 700 species of potworm, only 30 of which can be found on land. Potworms are found all over the globe except in deserts, and one species has evolved to live in the Arctic ice and snow. However, most species are most commonly found in moist forest soils that are rich in organic matter. Potworms measure 1 to 2 centimetres and have a transparent body wall. They live in the top 10 centimetres of soil and are anatomically similar to the earthworms and compost worms. They also reproduce in a similar manner, laying cocoons which may contain one or more eggs. Birth to reproductive maturity takes 60 to 120 days depending on the species and the environment. They exchange gases through their skin so must remain moist at all times. They ingest less organic matter than earthworms and feed predominantly on the fungal hyphae and bacteria found on the organic matter in a roughly 80%-20% ratio. However, their sheer numbers means they do a phenomenal job in tilling, aerating and conditioning the soil with their casts. They prefer organic rich, moist to wet environments with a pH slightly on the acidic side. They're awesome composters and are typically found in moist bins and heaps that are high in leaf content and very moist. They play nicely with worms but if there are excessive numbers in your worm bin it's too wet, too acidic, or both. That's the potworm. One word, not two, in one minute.